Um, God and Allah, they're the same. Allah. Just have a different name. According to him, before joining the army and even after spending some time as a soldier, he had a different idea about Muslims until he met specialist Zachary Kluan. I came in the army and did basic training and had a whole different idea of things, you know, because of things you see on TV. But he's just kind of changed my, changed my point of view on certain things. Like I would ask him about his religion sometimes, you know, and uh, like certain things that he does why you know and he would just talk to me just because I was curious you know before you know you could say I was ignorant you know because you can't judge a book by its cover and once I actually opened the book and spoke to him you know it, he just totally just blew my mind before joining the army and even after spending some time as a soldier he had a different idea about Muslims um God and Allah they're the same Allah. Let's have a different name. The same God. He's just a different. He's just a different name. <laughs> but besides experiencing individual Islamophobia from fellow soldiers. Zachary Kluan also talked about Islamophobic remarks from some members who belong to the chain of command. Um, God and Allah, they're the same. Allah Let's have a different name. individual Americans and individual soldiers meet in more and more Muslim individuals and talk with them and finding out, wow, I was wrong, what was I thinking, you know, if, if they have those preconceived notions. Yeah, boy. Eric Scherfen was an infantryman on the front lines in the first Gulf War, even as a signed photograph of himself with the first President Bush. He later became a National Guard helicopter pilot, and after his discharge, got a job as a pilot with a small commuter airline. Then last April, his employer told him he was on a watch list. He was banned from the cockpit and was told he would lose his job September 1st, unless he clears his name. My entire career depends on me getting off this list. I probably won't be able to get a, a job anywhere else in the world having this mark that I'm on this list, this undetermined list. Sherfin is a convert to Islam. His wife, Rabina Tareen, an American citizen, was born in Pakistan. She sells Islamic books and DVDs. It's mainstream. It's a very moderate uh, 
kind of uh, perspective on Islam. They have both been delayed at airports and borders. Told by security personnel, they are on a list. Are you guys terrorists? No. No. Do you associate with people who are terrorists? No. Do you give money to any organization which might have terrorist links? Not at all. Why do you believe you may be on a list? At this time, we do not know. That's the problem. Maybe uh, because I'm a Muslim and because, because of my ethnicity. They have tried to find out. In May, they wrote to the Department of Homeland Security. In June, to the Transportation Security Administration Traveler Redress Program. This week, after publicizing their plight by filing a lawsuit, they finally got a number to track their case. The TSA has set up a complaint system where you basically put your complaint and it goes into a black hole uh, and you get no response, you get nowhere, and bottom line is it's just, it is not the kind of effective process that the Constitution demands when the government is going to take away your life, liberty, or property. Allah. 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 Allah.